Hello there, my name is Ontavia Paredes and I am a Youth Outreach Coordinator at Metropolitan State University. I'm a senior student this year and I'm studying chemistry and biology. Today I will lead you through a career pathway presentation in chemistry and give you an idea of what it is like to be a chemistry student at Metro State. Usually I would take you on a tour of the campus and we would do a science activity together but unfortunately our campus is closed to in-person tours this year, so we can't meet in person. But I hope you enjoy this presentation and maybe next year you can come visit in person. Career pathway to chemistry. Oops, go back. What is chemistry? Um, chemistry is one of the major branches of science and the people who work in chemistry are called chemists. Chemists study the substances that make up matter, which is everything that takes up space in the universe. They also study the changes that take place when substances combine. These changes are called chemical reactions. In addition, chemists create new substances. They have created plastics, fibers, building materials, medicines, and many other substances that are useful in everyday life. The basic substances that chemists study are called chemical elements. Each element is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Chemical reactions involve atoms or groups of atoms. When two or more atoms combine, they form a molecule. Each element has certain properties. When elements are combined, they form a new substance with its own properties. A substance formed in this way is called a compound. There are 118 known elements in our world and they make millions of compounds. Why study chemistry? Chemistry is the study of matter, energy, and how they interact. Everything that happens in the natural world is because of chemistry. On average, 37,000 billion billion chemical reactions occur in your body every second of your life. If you're interested in becoming a doctor, applicants that have a degree in chemistry or biochemistry are often preferred by medical schools. And studies have shown that students with science degrees are often preferred by law schools because science teaches students how to analyze objectively in order to come to educated conclusions, which is similar to the way that lawyers have to think and, and work. Curators who study art and art dealing study chemistry so that they can use chemical analyses um, to confirm if a piece of art is authentic. And many art historians work with scientists to study the subjects in older paintings to piece together the evolution of plant species and record changes in landscape geography. Personally, I chose to study chemistry because I am passionate about the health of people and the environment. And I plan to work in environmental chemistry, learning about pollution control to keep our earth healthy. Types of science careers. A chemistry degree can be very flexible because of how broad the subject is and because chemists are required in so many industries. In addition to the careers that you see on the slide, there are endless career applications. If you love the beauty industry, you can work as a cosmetic chemist and revolutionize beauty products for companies like Fenty or Elf. With a chemistry degree, you can go into food science and develop safe foods or new flavors as a flavor chemist. The job stability and high earning potential for those who choose to study chemistry are certainly a benefit. Metropolitan State University's campus is located just west of downtown St. Paul. The Dayton's Bluff Public Library is located on the first floor of our library building. A block away from campus is the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary, which is where many of our ecology and biology classes go to study plants and bugs in person. It is a really compact and friendly campus that is easy to commute to. As a commuter campus, there are no dorms and all students live off campus, which is significantly cheaper um, compared to the cost of dorm living, though perhaps less convenient for getting to class when you're running late. In this picture, you can see about a quarter of our campus, but I chose this picture because I wanted to show you the Jason R. Carter Science Education Center, which is to the far right. 
This is where the majority of your classes will be as a chemistry major. It was built in 2017 and named after Jason Carter, a former biochemistry student at Metro who passed in 2016 after his struggle with leukemia. The building was funded by Jason's parents um, in honor of their son, as they felt Jason really found his calling as a science student at Metro. Because the building is so new, it is filled with new research facilities and lab technology that students enjoy learning with. As you can see in this slide, oh here I'm going to the cost of attendance at Metropolitan State University is lower than most four-year institutions in the state. The total cost of attendance for a full-time undergraduate student in 2020 costs about $30,000 a year or about $15,000 a semester. This price includes tuition, student fees, cost of books and supplies, all living expenses, estimated personal expenses, as well as transportation. Another cost-effective option is to consider attending an even cheaper two-year school like MCTC, Minneapolis Community and Technical College, North Hennepin Community College, or Century College, and then transfer those two years of your college coursework to Metro State or any other four-year school to complete the last two years of your four-year bachelor degree. It's pretty rare for chemistry students to just get it right away. The most successful chemistry student is the one who works hard to study the material, goes to class every day, even if they didn't finish their homework, asks questions when they're confused, and has the proper amount of time to focus on schoolwork. You'll find that most students at Metro are balancing school and work because school, school and life are expensive once you're on your own. The best gift you can give yourself is to get good grades now so that you can be a competitive applicant for college scholarships. Scholarships are a way to help you pay for school and the cost of living so that you don't have to work as much. More time to study equals better grades. I would also recommend looking into jobs that you can do as a student employee on campus. They tend to be flexible around your class schedule, easy to commute to between your classes, and it's a great way to make connections with your professors who can then write you letters of recommendation for scholarships and future job opportunities. You can even get college credit for paid internships if you plan to work during college. So look into jobs that are also helping you advance your career or your college degree. On this list is a list, or sorry, on this slide is a list of opportunities for you to look into to help you fund your future in science. That's all I have for you today. Um, I thank you for listening and learning with me. Uh, the assignment I am giving you today is not about anything I have told you um, in this presentation. The assignment is um, going to be for you to explore a scholarship or grant or internship or fellowship opportunity that you would be interested in applying for. You can use Google or scholarship.com or any other resources available to you to locate this opportunity. Um, I encourage you to use key search terms that relate to you specifically. Um, for example, when I look for scholarships, I usually Google things like Native Woman Science College Scholarship or Minnesota First Generation College Grant Chemistry. Um, you know, things that describe you and your interests or your location. Um, there are a lot of opportunities that are specific to high school students as well. So that's something that you can apply to even before you go to college. Um, so look around and fill out the form that I have supplied for you. And in this way, I hope you get a better understanding of how you can prepare now for the future that you want for yourself, um, whether it's in science or not. So thank you.